Hello and welcome today to Infinite Tanks World War 2 on the Nintendo Switch. This one has just come out literally today and we're just going to jump in and see what it has to offer. Now I don't have a great deal of experience with tank games, I played about half an hour of World of Tanks in my life. Uh, but this one has a single player campaign which is what drew me to it. Uh, that I'm not going to get my ass kicked in multiplayer straight away and indeed it has a tutorial. Which is going to be very necessary for me here. Because... Uh, yeah, the controls probably aren't going to come naturally to me, but I'm intrigued to see what you can do on a Switch with a game like this. And also, I'm hoping to have another game that I can just lay in bed and play and be quite happy. All right, welcome to the Training Grounds Private. Oh, I start off as a private. Uh, today, you will learn the basics of tank combat, or tanks combat, indeed. Doesn't let you skip these messages. Uh, follow the orders you get to complete the training program. Okay, cool. Uh, right stick to aim and rotate the camera. The turret follows the camera. Makes sense. And yeah, we've got a little reticle inside the reticle to show where the turret's currently facing. Uh, left stick to move your tank. Move to the marked location. No problem. All right, so far, so good. I'm a master of this. Aim for the enemy. Okay, so this is a bit more complicated. So the white would show no penetration. Orange would show surface damage and f red would show full penetration. When you are aiming at an enemy tank, the color of its outline glow will indicate the penetration status of your weapon and currently equip equipped projectile. Yeah, okay. So as it stands, we're going to do barely anything. But hey, we'll do it. ZL to zoom to make my aim more accurate. Okay, now it has got a red outline now. Fair enough. Uh, the aiming circle shows projectile spread. To have a bigger chance of penetrating the tank, try and shoot sidewise and even better in the back so if we go for its maybe its tracks well that worked that worked pretty damn well uh, you can change your tank ammo using the r button so what have we got ah we've got apcr rounds which are medium damage high penetration ap rounds which are high damage medium penetration you'd think they'd be high penetration when they're armor penetrating rounds okay and high explosive rounds which are area damage low penetration okay all right. wonder what I'll want to use on different tanks, though. Go to the marked location and try to kill both enemies using only one shot. All right, well, good thing their health is already really low. I assume high explosive would be the way to go with this. Maybe if I fire in the middle of them, maybe like uh, there. Not going to let me fire... Ah, uh, once we change my ammo again. Is that high explosive? No, AP, HE is there. And whenever you change ammo, there's a little bit of a cooldown on it. Which makes sense, because you're loading new ammunition. Well, that missed. I kind of hoped that I'd hit the ground in the middle of them and I just went too far. There we go, high explosive was the way to go. Bit of area damage. All right, next marked location. Where are we going to? Oh, this thing turns... Oh, it turns like a tank, I suppose. Maneuverability is going to be an issue here, isn't it? Doesn't look an amazing game on the Switch, I have to say. It doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination. Certainly passable. Uh, but I've seen nicer looking games. Uh, press L for secondary weapon. Which is what exactly? The air support maybe? Move the circle on the enemy. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't quite get time to read that. Is this where it wants me to go? Or... No, it's over there. Okay. And ZR to fire it. So we can actually fire over walls that way. That's nice. Alright, uh, your tank has defensive abilities as well. Wait, nitro boost on a tank? Alright, I'll nitro boost. Are we going faster? I don't even know. I can't even tell. But it's got limited uses. We've only got four left and we can repair HP. Don't know if we needed to. Yeah, we did. Okay. Actually repairs a hell of a lot as well. And they both got limited uses. Alright. Uh, sometimes your tank sustains a critical hit. You can use the repair critical ability to quickly recover. Okay, what is that ability then? Are you going to tell me? Ah, there it is. Oh, so the tank in the top left corner as well shows where we're damaged. So if a bit is glowing red, that's critical, I guess. Alright. Opening chests. Don't want to do much of that. This game costs money. I'm hoping those chests aren't purchasable. 
All right, at least we've completed the tutorial anyway, and we got common chest. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty common chest down there. Pr bit big for a guy, it has to be said, but eh, whatever. All right, we'll continue and see, uh, see what's in store in the first real mission of the game. Loading times don't seem terrible at the moment, he said. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. All right, we can open a chest. Like I say, if these are just rewards in the game, fine. If you can buy these, I have a little bit of a problem with that. Let's see what we got. Uh, these are consumables, right? Interesting. Okay. So, I think there's going to be quite a variety of tanks in this game, and I wonder... I, I didn't think you'd have to buy the ammo, though. Maybe you don't. It's just my very, very first looks at this. Anyway... Operation Battle for Hill 115. Sure. Looks like we've got Americans over here. Where Hill 115 is, I couldn't tell you. It looks like Europe, based on the fact that there's, like, brick masonry and rain. My guess would be this isn't Japan. This isn't the Pacific Theater. You never know, though. Uh, we must secure the base at the top of the hill. It will provide us with the necessary oversight of the entire sector. Okay. It's fairly nicely modelled. Uh, to get hold of the base, we first need to clear the village ahead of us. Nice windmill in the background going very, very quickly. Right, let's charge. Oh, okay. Keep close to my squad. Well, keep up, guys. That's on you. You should follow me, not wait. See, can we get an overview on this hill? I think that's what it wants me to do, yeah. Maybe just rain down fire? No, it doesn't want me to do that. The other tanks are going on the road as well, so I've already broke the first rule. Get back in formation. Nice bit of destructible uh, terrain, though. I like that. All right, we have an enemy tank on the horizon. Don't want to hit that wall. Did some damage. Nice, nice. Someone else finished him off. Another one there. You're just using the armor piercing rounds at the moment. Armor penetrating, whatever the hell they are. All right, we can push forward. It's going to be a game a lot about cover, this one, isn't it? I'm hoping to go through this wall. Nice. It's not the most uh, complex destruction ever, but the fact that it is, it is destructible is uh, good. Oh, dear. Did not see you. Let's try and hit you in the side. Nice. Probably should move now. S staying perfectly still probably isn't the way to go. We can actually fire on the move as well, can't we? Fortunately, his rounds seem to be ricocheting off. Did we even hit with that? I think I hit the front. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Not this time. Right, let's change to APCR and see if that makes any difference. It takes longer to reload. Did that do anything? Or was my own tank parked in the way? Is there even friendly fire in this? There is not friendly fire in this. Not the way that you generally test to see if there's friendly fire, but fine. Okay, that one's basically done. Another one behind him? Yeah, it's on the road behind him. Not sure how well I'm getting on with the APCR rounds at the moment. They don't seem to do nearly as much damage as the AP. So we're just going to go back to that. We show them our front. Because they keep exposing their side to us, which is not a good idea. There we go. Couldn't miss from that range. I could. I'm one of the few people who could. Uh, let's get back in formation and prepare the advance. There was no punishment last time when we weren't in formation. So I doubt there would be. Get this a bit lower. Uh, eliminate the threat before the assault on the base. Okie dokie. Where are we going? Going the other way entirely. I'm an idiot. Give me 10 years to turn around, guys. I'll be there. There we go. Straight through the tree. Oh, damn it. I missed. Well, at least we're back in formation, sort of. Are you going to move, buddy, or no? Nope, you're just going to sit in my way, are you? Okay, well, I'll try and go around you, but if I hit you, it's your fault. There we go. I like the idea that 
we're supposed to be the good guys here and we're just destroying somebody's town in the process. Let's run over these cars. They blow up rather satisfyingly. Nice. Wreck the town. Why not? That checkpoint isn't going to stop me, but there's more tanks. Apparently, that one hurt. What hit me? Can't even see it. Ah, there. On the hill. But like I say, I don't want to be on the APCR rounds. They suck. As far as I can tell. Go for a flank. Unfortunately, he seems to have quite a well-defended position there. This is a long flank. Through that shack. Oh, there's a lot more tanks around here as well, by the look of it. A lot of enemies. But we have got the other side of him. Unfortunately, I then missed because I suck. And we are taking damage now. All right. Use him as cover. Oh, so close. Come on. Ramming him works. Ramming him does damage. Okay, let's focus on these guys. Unfortunately, I think that's his front. Ah. Oh, jeez, that hurt. Where's my abilities? Oh, I was like, I need to heal. And then there was just no ability there for me. I don't know if it had saved me anyway. I kind of drove right into the damn middle of an ambush. But even so, I was expecting to be able to heal a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, like I said, not great at these games. Not got a great deal of experience at them, but... Gotta learn somehow, and this learning this way is better than learning online, trust me. Alright, we are going to try and deal with this tank from range this time, instead of trying to sneak up on him. Again, we should probably show him the front, right? Okay, he's backing off. Is he trying to draw us into the ambush? Can we even hit him from here? Look, there is, there is a sweet spot here where we can do it. I just don't know where it is. All right, we're going to have to move forward a little bit. Or maybe backwards would have been better, actually. Aha. Is he coming back? No. All right, we're going to go forwards. going to go through these build. Oh, man, that's a solid building. No way. Nothing should be able to stop this tank. Certainly not this watchtower. Nice. Okay, so there's enemy tanks now. So we're going to have to just be a little bit more careful. We just stepped into an ambush. One coming around that corner at us. Fortunately, I'm terribly placed to see it. But that's the one I want to go after. Try and face them at most one-on-one. -on -one, or two-on-one -on -one even. No! Damn it. A little bit of auto-aim there, because I noticed that we were tracking it when I wasn't really doing much to track it. Stop showing it the side. Let's show it the front. Nice. Got a deflection there. All right, he's basically done. And his rounds are pinging off our armor. There we go. All right, who's next? Looking a little bit better this time. Don't want to push too far forward, though, without uh, friendly support. There is this tank up on the hill still. Got it in the side. Reloading. I'm just hammering the button right now. Come on. All right, we can ram it. Got two health. There you go. He rammed it. Nice. All right. Uh, let's regroup near the church. Sure, you got it. <laughs> let's regroup with the three guys who just stayed back there and did nothing while we dealt with that ambush. Yeah. Sure, why not? The enemy's attacking the village. Okay. Charging my way back. They've already killed one before I even got here. Seems like they've got this under control, to be honest with you. But look, we'll try and help if we can. He's going to come around this corner. No, he's not. Right, save some for me, guys. All right, now if you could take him out, that'd be great. There you go. Any more? We should begin our final push for the base. All right, if you tell me where it is, I will agree with you. Move out. It's up there. That's up where we just were. We went up there to do something, came back, and now we're going to go up there again. Sure. Why not? 
I'm always intrigued as to how well they can do the realistic look on the Switch, and they've done a decent job. I always feel like stylized games work better on the Switch, more cartoony sort of stuff, but this isn't bad. Alright, so we got some more enemies. I don't want to roll in there. Friendlies do, though. Oh, I hit the box in front of it. Damn it. Something just bounced off our armor. We don't have any abilities in this mission, which is weird considering the game specifically taught us about abilities. Also, this friendly guy is just parked in front of me like an idiot. Did I just hit the, the box again? Alright, so they're definitely waiting around this corner for us. In fact, we might be in a position where I can shoot it and he can't shoot me. Let's we'll see how he reacts to this. Is he just going to stay there? It looks like he is, yeah. That's fine, buddy. I'll take the cheap one. Now, if I'm being really generous to the AI, I'll say that we disabled its tracks and it can't move. Uh, in reality, I feel like it doesn't really quite understand what's going on, but that's fine. Another one behind it. Who can see us. Now, he may have actually disabled his tracks. It seems like AP rounds are the way to go. Come on. One more. Yeah, they're not doing any damage to me right now. When they did do damage, they did it super fast. But now... Yeah, I can sit here out in the open without too much worry, by the look of it. I wonder how specific the tank damage is as well. Like, if you do take out a track, does that affect how they move? Because that would be kind of cool. I'm sure he can hit me from there. Maybe he can't. Let's try a different round. Let's try the APCR again. And see what sort of damage numbers we get. Because they are numbers, right? So if we hit here... Oh, is it telling me how much I'll get? 145 if I hit there. Yeah, yeah, okay. It tells you how much you'll get for each round. That's cool. So with this, I'm doing 204 in certain places. Like there. What about the HE? 82. Yeah, that's not what I want. Yeah, it's AP rounds all the way. It's cool that it shows you how much damage you'll do in any given spot, though. All right, is that mission complete? Now have control over the base. Stay alert. Damn it. But I want to rest now. What do we got? But from where? Which angle? Let's protect the base until help arrives. I mean, I agree with you, but where are they? Just sit and listen to this music for a little bit. Enemy spotted behind us, of course they are. Alright, so we got four coming in. We've got five defending it, so I think we should be okay. Again, to be honest, I could probably sit up this end and just leave them to it, but that's no fun. Did I hit with that? I don't think I did. Alright, this one should do it, though. There we go. I don't know if the eye means that they're looking directly at us, maybe. Try and take out the turret on that. Thirty-three damage left. Shouldn't be a problem. Probably even go the high explosive for this one, but I won't. Yeah, there is a huge amount of auto aim here because I was not tracking that at all. It just kept going. Charge! Damn it! He got there first. I was hoping to blow him up by hitting him. All right, is that mission complete? Nice little skybox actually as well. Enemy tanks are approaching. Damn it! Other side. Turn, turn. All right, here we go. Anything? There they are. Yeah, take some of that. Get them tracks. I know my natural instinct is to go for the tracks, even though the damage numbers probably aren't as good there. There's 204 somewhere. It's just about finding that spot. It's like there. There it is. 205. Beautiful. Oh, that one's gone. Again, how much how much health they got? 627? Could we do this in one fewer shot if we got the optimum shot every time? I don't know. 
I could do the maths on it, but I'm not that type of guy. I'll let someone else do the maths and tell me. Still seems pretty accurate, even if you don't... Uh, don't zoom in. Come on, ram it. There we go. That has to be mission accomplished. Yeah, friendlies at the bottom. Nice. Nicely done. This base was an important objective. Fair enough. Uh, we now have the resources to move forward. All right, where to? Wait. Oh, I was going to say, I thought they were going to add more objectives into this mission. All right, do we get a ranking or anything? A total of 647. Five frags. I wonder, do we have to be the last hit on those then? Because that kind of sucks if that's the case. Uh, bonus XP is only one. I take it that's because we're on medium. Got a couple of common chests again. Let's see. Probably do one more mission in this today. And then probably call it. We're at what? 25 minutes at the moment. I, I didn't want this to be a massively long video. Just want to see what this one's about. See what we get in this chest. I'm hoping for more cosmetic-y sort of stuff. To make my tank look cool. But it seems like they are consumables. You get an airstrike. Repair critical, high explosive rounds, Hellcat tracks, and APCR rounds. And another chest. Let me look at this one. We got Nitro, APCR, repair, Hellcat top, and high explosive rounds. So what happens then if I have a look just quickly before we move on? At tanks. We get a test drive, we get a modify. So we need three Hellcat tops to get there, do we? We can select the engine that we want to put in there. The tracks that we want to put on. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Is that a turret? Well, that's technically the turret. I have a Panzer turret instead. And it gives you all the stat differences. That's cool. So you can sort of mix and match here, which is a little bit weird. But I'm okay with it. I'm not, one, I'm not like a stickler for historical accuracy on this kind of thing. So that's fine by me. So let's, uh, let's wang on the Panzer one. It seems to have less armor piercing, but does maybe more damage. The icons aren't ideal for showing you what they mean. It seems to have a lower reload time as well. And maybe better health. Let's put that on. The Panzer one only seems to have good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's all positive. So why the hell would you not put on the Panzer there? That one looks worse. Fair enough. We'll leave that as a Hellcat. Engine-wise, leave that as the Hellcat. And the top of it, we can't change at the moment. Okay, interesting. But it seems like you could unlock quite a lot of stuff for that. Just hoping that if I go to rewards here, yeah, it's not going to tell me there's a store that I can go and buy chests from. So it looks like we're okay for the time being. Right, let's do the next mission of the campaign. Operation High Ground. Are we fighting Anakin or what? That was the world's cheesiest joke from about 2005 right there. Put that one in the history books. Uh, looks like we've got another windmill in this round, though. They, they love their windmills. Uh, we've recovered reports of enemy activity near this village. Looks like we're somewhere near the Alps here, I'd guess. Uh, HQ sent us to scout the area before the rest of the company arrives. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, stay close to each other and be watchful. An interesting looking level. It's quite pretty. Right, we've got the AP rounds on, the god rounds. Enemy tank ahead, take cover. Why would I take cover when I can just pop him from here? If he fires at me, it'll definitely bounce off the armor, right? 100%. I've damaged his track, which I think means he can't move. Because he was moving, so. Alright, charge. Charge. Nobody fire. Damn it. I got more enemy tanks anyway. Kind of makes me want to play Battlefield again. And have actual infantry running around here. But I am enjoying the tank battles right now. I was never any good at them in Battlefield. I always play Battlefield as a infantry, just standard on the 
boots on the ground type of soldier. Which is just dumb. Battlefield's all about, like, combined arms combat. And I was specifically playing it as though it was effectively Call of Duty with different gunplay. 182, we are taking some hits here. We're going to have to back the hell off. There's two of them on us, is the issue. Try and damage his tracks, maybe. We still don't have the abilities that it showed us in the first... In the tutorial. We at least managed to take that one on the front to deflect. We might be good, but we're not going to heal this, are we? Taking out his track so he can't move, but he can still fire at us and do a lot of damage. 205, though. We might have this. We're getting hit from the other side as well. Come on, friendlies. Do us a favor. We have 141 health and no way of recovering it, as far as I can tell. I've just moved the camera out somehow. Stop. Don't do that. There you go. I need the camera in. Perhaps not that much. It seems like the button doesn't do it for a good couple of seconds, and then it decides it will. That's fine. Ooh, around the back of the house. Can we blow it up? Yeah, we can. Nice bit of destruction. Didn't get all the way through, unfortunately. Well, we're hitting him through this anyway, so that's fine. Fire! Near miss? Near miss? What I want to know is how we've got four friendlies here and it's only us firing. There you go. Somebody else helped. There's still more. Jeez. We are taking some pretty serious hits here, so we're going to have to move away. Maybe fire longer range at that guy instead. But if this one tries to flank us, he will get us. Oh, where the hell am I looking there? There we go. That's a good hit. One more and he's down. Seems to want to make me look in the sky, though, for some reason. Damn it. Not quite quick enough. We need a heal. That's him taken care of. Right, one more. Come on, guys. You just sat here. What are you doing? There's one more enemy tank. Let's go get him. Track should be taken out, but he is looking directly at us, and this could be the end. Oh, thanks for parking in front of him, buddy. Still managed to get the shot off. Is that it? No, there's one more over there. Jeez. This isn't easy. Safe to say that much. I don't think there's many more enemies coming, though. Unless they're just drip-feeding them in here. Shots fired, we're being attacked. Yeah, but from where? All the enemies are dead. Aren't they? Need to find the enemy fast. Coming up from that hill, maybe? I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me a second. All right. So it was actually just one of those annoying ones where you don't actually sneeze. It just feels like you're going to. Found the enemy tank as well. Could really do with friendlies helping out, though, because I do not have the HP to do this. Wants me to get back in formation? Screw that. I'm going for this guy. Oh, no. There's, there's, there's more than one. There's more than one. Back off. I'm trying to get back in formation. I'm not very quick. I'm sorry. Yeah, we need to get through this. Turn. Turn the other way. Last warning? I'm trying. What do you want me to do? I'm driving towards them. This is the best I can do to get back in formation. I have been warned. I know. I thought that was my last... Mm. Don't like it when a game does that. Don't like it when a game does that. Just goes, and you fail randomly because you weren't in the right spot at the right exact second. A little bit of freedom would be nice. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll reload and it won't be too far back and... Won't be too far back. It's right at the start of the mission. This is the start. Oh my god. What the hell happened there? The checkpoint in the first mission was fine. Also, I just deflected that shot off, him, off his armor, didn't I? 
Can't believe that, though. And also, we are taking hits. We probably need to face him a bit more. Friendly tanks don't seem to be that useful, to be honest with you. And the fact that it failed me for just being maybe 50 yards out of position or something like that. And then threw me all the way back here sucks. Like, this is the type of game that I will probably find myself tonight laying in bed and playing through the rest of the campaign for this one. Uh, but it does frustrate me a little bit. It's safe to say. Also, is this the tank I built? I think it is, you know. I think it's got a little Panzer front on it instead of the uh, Hellcat, which is kind of cool. Like, the, the customization seems like it could be really fun. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're into this sort of thing, if you really like your tanks. I don't know enough about them. I know enough about them to presume that the Panzer is a German tank. In fact, I know the Panzer is a German tank. I assume the Hellcat is an American one. Sounds like it. Let's see if we can find that extra damage. 64. 81, that'll do. Right, one more shot anywhere should do the job. As long as it doesn't ping off the armor. There we go. All right, we're hanging back a little bit. Seems to make a little bit more sense. Don't want to take many more hits this time. Yeah, we didn't miss. I was trying to blow through the cover. Didn't really work. Oh, now I'm aiming up in the sky again. He's there. So I think if the red eye is on, it means that they're actively shooting at you. Or maybe it means that they're going to hit you as though you were the red. I don't know. It just means they can see you, I think. Yellow might mean that you're potentially in their line of sight. But if you stay if you stay a little bit out of the way and fire from range, you should be okay. Having a little bit of trouble following my own advice here. We should be. Oh jeez, what the hell is hitting me? Where? Where is he? He's all the way over there. There's like five tanks in front of me. Aim at one of them, idiot. Suppose he knows that they're not mission critical tanks, whereas I am. Yeah, he's only firing at me. Weird. Another one here, though, that we should probably deal with. 102. One more shot will do him wherever we hit it. There it is. Right, one more tank. And then we got to watch out for the ones on the ridge. Unfortunately, he's hiding relatively well. Not well enough. Wish this reload was slightly quicker. There we go. Frightened him into moving, at least. So I wonder whether doing less damage there is better because we take out a track at least. Damn it. When it hits the fence, when a tank shell hits a wooden fence and bounces off, that's kind of weird. No, no. You don't want us. You don't want us. You want the guy next to us. All right, good. Looks like we're okay here. Somebody should get one more shot off. There we go. All right, so on the ridge. There they are, isn't it? No, that's not it. Well, I know they're on the ridge. I just don't know exactly where on the ridge now. There it is. All right, if we hit him, make it back off, and then we need to make sure we get in damn formation. Apparently, you have to have a bit of speed up to go through those houses. That makes sense. To a certain extent. Don't you dare kick me out for not being in formation this time, game. I'm right here. Nice. Hmm. I don't really want to chase him into what is probably another ambush, but hey. I think we'll probably be able to destroy him before then anyway. If my friendly tank doesn't park directly in front of him. There we go. Couple more coming up by the look of it. We're in the formation. We must be. Can I hit them from here? Quite possibly. I think I saw the flash of red. Unfortunately, it's through a friendly, so that isn't going to happen. Down comes a plane. That's a nice little set piece right there. 
I would love to have the use of some of these abilities that it showed me in the tutorial. That would be really cool to call in an airstrike on these guys. I don't want to take the shot. Too much in the way. I don't want to waste it. Ah, maybe there. No, I think I missed. Damn it. It's alright, I'll let friendlies deal with it anyway. It's kind of cool that it looks like friendlies can die though as well, because this guy's got less than half health in front of me. Oh, I'll shove him along. Get a move on, buddy. Get a move on. There you go. You got it. Okay, you don't want to got it though, do you? Keep moving. Why do you keep stopping? <laughs> Please. I'll go in front of you. That's fine. Another tank. Oh, bounced off. Like a glancing shot. What did they used to call those in Battlefield 4? Dusting, right? Oh man, I'm going to go play some Battlefield 4 after this. Also going to play some Frostpunk later today. Not because it just came out free on Epic, because I already had it, but... Seeing it on Epic made me want to play it again. That should be a good shot right there. Don't think this guy's even firing back at the moment. I don't know if he disabled the top. No, he is. No, he definitely is. I don't want to die because I don't know where the uh, checkpoint is. He missed that time. Oh, no, he didn't. That was us. Oh, really? Okay, we're bouncing off over and over again now. I mean, we are hitting it in the front, but... This is getting a little bit silly. Every shot we're hitting at him bounces off. There we go. I managed to hit the track. We've only got 59 HP. Going into that fight, I think I had more than half. That's insane. It wasn't saying shots were going to bounce off, so that's a little bit annoying. I'm just hoping we've managed to get a checkpoint because we are not going to make it to the end of this mission. 59 HP, we're one shot. Quite literally one shot. Let's see what's up around this corner. Yeah, more tanks, of course. I want to see what happens if I leave friendlies to do it. I mean, we're going to slowly slide down this hill, maybe, but I'm going to leave the friendlies, see what they do. It's three on three without me. In fact, it's four on three without me, by the look of it. Maybe four on four looking at the minimap. I don't know. If I can fire from here, I will. I'll, I'll help out. Oh, don't fire at me. Why would you fire at me? All right. Depending on where this last checkpoint is, we'll carry on or we'll quit. If this is miles back, I'm not doing that again. We shall have to see. It shouldn't be too bad this time. It was okay in the first mission, so I have hope that it's going to be okay now. That is absolutely fine. That's just before where we were. Perfect. I guess that first one is just... A, that first part of this mission is just a little bit wonky. We must have been very close to the checkpoint. Maybe if I'd got in formation, that would have been fine. I suppose it doesn't want to put you back directly in combat is another part of it. So that makes sense. A little bit odd sometimes who the AI chooses to target because I don't know why they turned and looked at me. I mean, I fired at him, but there was another guy firing at him who, was, who he was already looking at, so it just struck me as a little bit odd. There we go. Double hit, I think, with a friendly. I'm not pressing anything here. We're just tracking that auto-aim. I like the fact there's a bit of auto-aim, to be honest with you, though. That's absolutely fine with me in a game like this. Not about being super precise, unless you're looking for those higher damage shots. Oh, you went the other side. Cheeky thing. You know what? I'm not having that. Oh, I thought that would break. I thought I could just be on top of him straight away. Damn it. Okay, he's showing me his back, though, so hopefully we can get... Nah, it's going to be a side shot, but that's fine. Goodbye. There we go. All right, one more. We have literally 10 times the health we had last time in this situation, so I think we're doing well now. 
Being able to get your health back would be a nice little update, though. Giving you the abilities that were actually in the tutorial is what I'd love to see for this. Uh, good job securing the village. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, you will all be recommended for the Order of Glory. Is that it for this mission? That was a much shorter mission if it was. Could be. Could still be. I think it is. Yeah, it's weird how it goes back into the tank view for a second there, but that was the end of the second mission. Let's open another chest, see what we get. Because, to be honest, if there is a lot of customization in this game, and you would imagine there would be in a game called Infinite Tanks, uh, then I would be kind of interested in seeing, like, building the perfect tank, or my perfect tank anyway. It would probably be rubbish by, by some people's standards. But for me, and seeing some cool designs... That would be really enjoyable. All right, we've got an, we've got one times Italy. Wow, I always wanted one times Italy. All right, well, there you go. That was Infinite Tanks World War II. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that nonsense. I've been Nathan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.